Hey guys, what's up? I'm Shimela and you're watching Shimmy's Kitchen. So today let's make Damka Rot Halwa. This halwa is a very popular in Chennai, well known for its name Damka Rot. In olden days, they baked this halwa on charcoal ovens with burning charcoals on top and bottom of the baking dish. It was baked on low heat for a long time till it becomes crusty on top and bottom. That golden brown crust is a delicacy. So let's see how to make this. First step is to soak 100 grams unsweetened khoya in hot milk for 10 minutes then make it to a paste and set this aside. Second step is to blend 100 grams soaked and pressure cooked chana dal to a fine paste. To this I am adding 50 grams of soaked cashews, 50 grams soaked and peeled almonds. Add a little milk if required while you blend this to a fine paste. Third step is to roast 100 grams soji for a minute. Once done, set this aside. Fourth step is to boil 500 ml milk in a pan. Once it comes to boil, gradually add roasted soji in it. Give this a very nice mix while you add soji. Now slow cook till soji becomes soft. At this point add one and half cup sugar. Gradually add the sugar and mix well. And now I'm going to add soaked saffron in one fourth cup milk. Mix this nicely. Next I'm adding paste of dal and cashew. Give this a very nice mix. To this I'm adding a pinch of orange or red color. Mix this nicely. And next I'm adding Koya mix. Mix well and cook this for 2 minutes in a slow flame. You have to keep stirring it continuously. At this point I am going to add 1 cup ghee. Gradually add desi ghee and mix well. You have to keep stirring this till it starts leaving the sides. When it starts leaving the sides, now switch off the flame. Grease the pan with ghee and now transfer this halwa to the pan. And I'm going to drizzle some ghee on top. Garnish with some finely chopped almonds. You can also garnish this with melon seeds. Now bake this for 160 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes till it becomes golden brown and crisp on top. Once done, remove from the oven. Garnish with silver paper on top and let it cool. So guys, Damkaro Thalwa is ready to serve. This halwa is what you would die for as it is so insanely delicious. This halwa is very popular in Chennai. People from other states and cities when they visit Chennai, they never fail to buy this halwa. But now, by learning this method, you can make it yourself at home. This is very very easy to make. So guys, try this at your home and let me know how it turned out for you. If you make recipes from our channel, make sure to post it and tag it on Instagram Kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and when you do click that little bell icon. See you with more amazing recipes. Take care, stay healthy and have a nice day.